If you're not old enough to even know what the word postal means, don't watch this damn video. This story begins with the man who once had it all. This is a tale of a man with a fulfilling 9-to-5 employment. A man who's had brushes with greatness of all sizes and statures. A man who's regularly gone toe-to-ball against all obstacles in his way. All to come home every day to a devoted and loving wife. Yep, this is a man who had carved out his own slice of paradise and achieved what we all strive for. The American Dream. But as it so happens, even in the best of times, that little slice of paradise can blow up in your face like a nuclear bomb. And, uh, speaking of dropping bombs... This is a tale of a man only known as the Postal Dude. Along with his stalwart companion, always at his side, Champ. These two have toughed it out together through the thickest and thin. And after nearly losing it all, they come to realize that all they really need in life is their health, happiness, and that white trash heap on wheels they fondly call home. If they had remembered to lock the door, that is. Crap. Damn it, champ, I thought you were guarding the car. Figures. But in these fortuitous times, even when it seems like Lady Liberty has turned her last trick, the land of opportunity could spread her legs wide open with an invitation to new and to discovered prospects. A steady job, a welcoming home, a loving family, and a car in the driveway. That's the American dream we all strive for. But, as our heroes are soon to realize, sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare. Okay, guys. Yeah, this is the less janky alpha. I've been sitting waiting on this damn loading screen for about two minutes. Uh, yeah, damn scissors. Fucking move! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> ah, I kickstarted it. Nice. I'm gonna need some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. I suppose I need a job, but I ought to find a way to advertise my much sought after employment qualities to the public first. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. By the way, Scrotorola. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. Wait, the dude already said that. Well, we found our first bug. This wouldn't be a postal video if I didn't immediately piss on something. Fresh from the tap. That's right, this game's got class. And it seems like Running With Scissors even introduced, say, uh, emote system. Apparently this game's supposed to go multiplayer. This is the pinnacle of entertainment. Alright, enough of me jabbing. Let's play some Postal. Is that it? Is that it, boy? Fucking rabbit, get out of my way! Oh shit! Champ, I'm sorry. Ah, the perfect canvas to proclaim my message. The ideal utensil to communicate myself to the masses. Alright, well, down on luck seems to be the least degrading, so let's go with that. Perfect. Right, with down on baby, luck will suck dick for in no time. God damn it! You're looking at some grade A 100% made in the USA employment material right here. You look like a fart I can't trust. Rats. Can't get discouraged yet, though. This Moron. is only the beginning of my job search. You were right, bitch. You couldn't trust me. I'm in the market for some work. Little help? Maybe you should look for a shower first. Damn, no luck there. But I can feel gainful employment coming my way soon. Would you believe me if I told you I saw a spider? 
Wow, look at the size of that thing. Someone must be compensating for something. Ah, I guess the cop. She'll definitely help me. Hey, you. Where's some honest work around here? Do I look like I'm hiring? Ah, what a shame. But I can't let that get me down. I can hear employment calling my name. In this case, blue lives don't matter. Oh, hey there, outstanding citizen. Hi there. Uh, where would an upstanding worker such as myself find a job around here? Oh, oh those misses were some bullshit. You, with the face. I'm looking for some easy cash. Yeah, I've got a job right here in my back. Ah, hey, oh! motherfucker! No witnesses. And someone shut that goddamn car alarm off. Just my way of saying hi. Huh. Mike J's bidets. Hi there. Uh, where would an upstanding worker such as myself find a job around here? You one of those immigrants trying to steal our jobs? No way, Jose. Phew, this job hunting's tough work. But I'm not giving up just yet. Huh, I wonder what they got back here. Private storeroom. Get out, boy. Mind your business, bitch. Oh, damn, did a backflip. Okay. Oh, these sons of bitches. So this is where all the toilet paper went. Oh, you think you can leave? Tenderized. <laughs> so this is Mike Jared's office. Ah, of course, he's got crack, dildos, revolver, and ammo. Very respectable businessman. I guess that's why they call them all pigeons. Hey, you. Where's some honest work around here? Okay, well, fuck you then. What? What the fuck? My god. The dude's a vampire. Why are you gay? Wait. No fucking way. Notice me, senpai. Ah, hey, back off, jack off. Hey, one percenter. How about giving an eager 99 percenter like me a chance, huh? Geez, tough crowd. But I know there's employment waiting for me just around the corner. They always said, never meet your heroes. They were right. And I'm pretty princess. <laughs> Why didn't she just notice me? Wash away the sin. Wash away the sin. Oh, hey, playing some postman. Oh, that one looks awfully a lot like... Postal Redux. Okay, nice little arcade shop. Hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> fuck. Oh, God. The fuck did I just do? Oh. Okay. Job search. You're Back looking at some grade A, 100% made in the USA employment material right here. You, with the face. I'm looking for please, some easy cash. Please, just ignore the blood. Why don't you try looking under a bus? Shucks, so close. I can feel a job opportunity coming at any moment now. Oh, well, what do we have here? Shake a leg. Hey, you, where's some honest work around here? 
If you want work, go see Mr. Below at the job agency. About fucking Get time. out of here, freeloader. Now that's job hunting well done. I guess I better check out this job agency place. I hope the pay is good. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Thank you very much, ma'am. You've been a phenomenal help. Now die. Ooh, I don't play well with others. Ooh, what the fuck was that? Okay. Oh, you think you're just gonna hide shit from me? Oh, yeah. Now when it's got a completely different texture from everything else. The fuck's in here? Whoa, got dark. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Did I do this earlier when I picked up the machete? Ah! Jesus Christ has nothing to do with this. Fuck this place. This seems like some of the of hatred. Oh, right now I'll show you one of the more fucked up parts of this game. All right. If you love animals, especially cats, and you don't want to see anything bad, yeah, I might recommend you turn away from the video now. Fair warning. You can use cats as silencers! And mine's fucking broken! <laughs> oh, shit. And with the cat attached, if you hit reload, you get to pet the little furry fucker. Morning wood and in your butt. Classic. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hello? Oh, no, please! Ah, a new client. Come in, oh. come in. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belt a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now, wherever it might be at the moment. You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. <laughs> no, no more. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then. I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry, it's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. You'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. The job site's just down this manhole. We can discuss going down the other holes later. An associate is calling for an extra wildlife reclamation expert to assist him. I can tell you're the animal lover type. <laughs> Being a big animal lover myself. Meet my associate here and show him you're a man who's intimately familiar with the little creatures of nature. The jail, I mean the local correctional institution, is looking for um. Uh, a reformatory chaperone. <laughs> Don't be too rough on their clientele, unless that's what you're into. The institution is located here. Give them a good show of your penal qualities. Hey there. You want to take care of something for me? Did that dude just ask hey me to you. come here? I need a the bit fuck? Of here. Hey, buddy. Want to help out with something? Accept quest. Oh, this sure, is a new why feature. Not? You happen to have a light on you? Would you mind starting this bonfire for us? Oh, so... Oh, so I have to get the matches and light down on fire. Okay. Okay, equip the gas. And, uh, of course I can't just put a freaking match on it. There we go. 
here. Small token of our appreciation. Thanks. Holy shit, no way. They have a red dot sight now. Oh, that is real new. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that makes aiming so much better. Wait. Red dot. Did, can I... Can I put this on my AK? Yes! I fucking can! Yes! Oh, I'm too excited over this. Alright, if you find yourself here in the police station, uh, go up to the second floor, oh, donut, and uh, unlock the armory through this terminal. Hey, oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, sorry, ma'am. Alright, yep, go ahead and hack this terminal. And it gives you a little... Unlocking. Basement armory. Gives you a little now. binary code here, but I tried translating it to American Standard Code and a couple other standards, but I can't find anything. If you can find something, feel free to tell me. Oh, yes, give me that good ammo. Yeah, 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 chase him down, boys. Chase him! Oh, yeah, baby, put to the head! Stop harder! Hello there, Mr. Warden. How are things in the old pokey? Ah, damn it! You better watch your stinking up on punk, or else I'll lock you up with the rest of this monkey spunk. State your business. I was told you're looking to hire a new reformatory chaperone. So, another wannabe flatfoot who thinks he can last a day in my prison. Only the most qualified and physically capable are worthy of gracing these fine halls. Now look, do you see that eye chart over there? Yeah. Good, you're hired. Now head into the next room, rookie, and I'll instruct you on the proper use of your equipment. Said code. I've got it right here. The code is six nine sixty nine. Nice. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a sec. This damn sheet is upside down. The right code is ah shit. You just activated the emergency prison release. Listen up, rookie. You're the last guard standing in there. I got a backup team on standby, but there's no way they're getting in with the place in full lockdown mode. You'll have to go to security stations in each of the cell blocks and manually input the override code. Each station has its own code. There should be one marked in that hub room you're in. Commit that to memory and head to the cell block first. Hoo hoo shit, we gonna get fucked up in this bit. Never inhale, kids. Love this shit. It's a good day to die. Oh, hey, boys. Can I join in? Ooh, shower pizza. Fun as keepers, motherfucker. Sneak up on me? Dumbass. Where are you at, boys? Dr. Dude will see you now. I diagnose you with dead. There's nothing like a good bout of indiscriminate mayhem to really get your day going. Ladies and gentlemen, crack. Nothing like a little pick-me-up. 
No, you can't have my booty. <laughs> These guys want an asshole? I'll give them an asshole. Double time it. Get some weapons akimbo. Oh, oh, I can't shoot through bars apparently. Okay, only a little problem. Piece of cake. Cell block secured. Lockdown lifted. Oh shit, female Doom guy? Now didn't I tell you these boys know how to crash a party? And don't worry, I remember to tell them you were in here too, rookie. Yeah, I'll bet. Now how about the pay for my exemplary efforts? Don't worry about that either, rookie. Your recruiter got in touch, and I made sure to transfer all your day's wages to him. Oh, great. Trust me, you did a service worthy of every cent. Unfortunately, your decisive handling of the disorderly conduct around here has ensured such further efforts will not be required anytime soon in the foreseeable future. But cheer up, rookie. Play your cards right, and one day, you can find yourself a permanent residence in here. Oh, is this one of those fat people vehicles they have at Walmart? Now, I am the fat. Oh, God damn it! Ugh. Get out of the road! Bitch! My road! I know that dude! Stole my cookies! Give me my cookies! I want my cookies. Nice garage. Things to do. Mow lawn, wash car, repair chainsaw, bury body by bush, burn evidence. Remember, pay fine by Thursday. What the fuck is going on in this house? Oh, loading shotgun. Okay. Where's this body he buried? Huh. Ugh. Withdrawal is a bitch. Oh, I shouldn't have smoked that damn crack. What the fuck? Is this a Bethesda game? Be gone, witch! Now, how the fuck do I get out of here? They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Burn, motherfucker! Burn! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, fire! Oh. Oh. Fuck, fuck, gotta put myself out. Uh, that's better. Oh, come on, dude. Some people pay extra for that. Alright, guys, I'm gonna call this the end of part one. See y'all in part two. Peace.